Kylie, you're a first year Yellow Jacket, but you've played three NCAA years. Why don't you talk about how you got from Hawaii to here? So my senior year, I was supposed to go to UH Hilo, but I got recruited from Coach Benny Canales from Laredo, Laredo, Texas. I played my two years there as a starting libero, and then I got recruited from Prairie View A&M, which is also in Texas, and then I played as a DS, and then I ended up here. Um, it's, it's different from what I've been used to, especially being home for a long time. I mean, the weather is really different, but I like it so far. It's homey. Um, the first two weeks was just basically getting us back into like volleyball mentality, but we um, slowly but surely were like gelling together. Everybody's chemistry is mixing well. It's coming along pretty good, actually. I'm kind of surprised. So you actually must be really excited because the first regular season games are in your home state. Why don't you talk about that? Yes, um, super excited, but there's two storms coming, so eh. But I still get to see my family, and they get to watch me play. I don't think my mom has watched me play since high school, so it's been like five years. So I'm pretty excited. And why don't you talk about some of the expectations that you have, you know, as a team, as an individual, for the first tournament? Um, some of my expectations for myself would be to be a leader, especially to, like, I guess the freshmen. I'm considered kind of new, too, but I kind of know, like, what goes on. Um, as for our team, I really want us to have fun and just gel together like we did when we played against Northwest and just give it our all. It's been really fun. Um, the girls are really nice here. They all made me feel really at home. I had a really hard couple of weeks coming all the way here, and it was hard for me to adjust, but everyone was so nice to me that it really came together easily. Being a freshman is really fun. I feel like as a freshman, I'm actually getting a lot more playing time than most freshmen would, and I think I'm really doing well as a freshman. Uh, our setter is really great. She pushes the ball there, gets it there almost every time. We have like a rotating setter right now, so sometimes Matea sets, sometimes Gayla sets, and both of them are really good, and they get the ball there every time. I am very excited to return home. Uh, my parents are coming because the game's on Oahu. I'm from Maui, so it's just a 20 minute plane ride over. So my parents are gonna come watch all our games. So it's really exciting to get to see them again. Well, of course, my main goal is to win, but I really want to find our like gel point and just see how well we work together and just kind of use these games as a like point to see how we can work together to have one, to be one. <laughs> yeah. And why don't you talk about volleyball? It's such a big sport in the state of Hawaii itself. Um, talk about kind of, you know, the competition and what you're expecting from that. So in, in Hawaii, yes, volleyball is huge. And I feel like when we had tournaments on Oahu, the competition is way more advanced rather than when we would travel to the mainland for a lot of our trips. Because I feel like on Hawaii, it's just such a big thing like volleyball is so huge and everyone plays it and like everyone's so good at it everyone's so athletic so like everyone's good are you expecting to have some fun yes lots of fun i getting into practices we're about two weeks deep into practice uh, the team's been getting competitive we try and put a competitive element on everything that we do in practice uh, we've been preparing and getting ready for our tournament in hawaii we're going to play a lot of good competition so we're trying to make it as lifelike as possible, adding a lot of game elements into practice. Um, right now the girls are doing really well. We scrimmaged a little bit on Saturday and we saw some really good things. Our blocking was right where we needed it to be and we were scrappy on defense, so I was happy with our overall effort on Saturday. Um, we're just getting prepared for Hawaii. So talk about starting the regular season out with a bang in Hawaii with four matches, some really good competition, like you said. What are your expectations for the team? You know, I want to be competitive, and we've talked about that a lot in these previews. Uh, like I said, we wanted a competitive schedule in this op or preseason, and um, the Hawaii schools are going to give us that. They uh, have a lot of returners. There's a lot of upperclassmen on each of the rosters of the teams that we play over there in Hawaii, and uh, I think that'll really help us, and I think it'll help prepare us for the GNAT conference. Um, they have a little bit of a different style of play than a lot of the schools that we see around here, so um, I'm excited to kind of dive into that, and hopefully we can match up with them pretty well. And you have two Hawaiians actually on the roster this year. Talk about them. I bet they're a little excited to go back. 
They are. We are very, everyone is very excited to go back, but especially Kylie and Bree. Kylie's been um, our primary libero for the last couple of weeks in practice, and she's done really well from it. She's coming out of retirement um, after coaching and having a little bit of an injury, um, but she's done really well. She is going back to her hometown, and we're staying in her hometown, so she's, she's excited to see some of her family and friends, and hopefully they can come out and support us. And then Bree is from the island over, but her family will be there supporting, and she's been doing really well as well. She's competing for time over on the right side, and we've been getting her some repetitions in the middle. Um, but yeah, we're excited to have both of them on the team and hopefully get them home for a couple of days. And maybe last question, why don't you talk a little bit about the chemistry of your team right now and what you're seeing? Right now we have a small close-knit team. They've been working really hard. We've been asking them to do a lot uh, both on and off the court and uh, you know they've really stepped up to that challenge. They um, do a lot of team bonding stuff and a lot of it is not mandatory or stuff that we assign them. They just go and watch a movie or um, you know hang out as a team which I really appreciate as a coach. Um, I like to see those bonds making and hopefully they're bonds that they can keep for the rest of their life.